Being a Muslim is a big part of who I am. And being an adventurer is too. 52 days of racing. Ooh, what it's all come down to. Go, 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 go. Climb, use your hands if you have to. Yeah, my dust. As well as winning the BBC show Race Across the World, I'm big into my running. And as a Muslim, I've fasted during the month of Ramadan my whole adult life. Running and my religion are two very key parts of my life. I had this crazy, mad idea to combine them both together into one. Uh, and that's when I came up with the idea to run a 26.2 marathon during Ramadan. I know physically I can do it, but it's the no food and water during, during before and after the race itself that's gonna be the real test. There are three million Muslims in England and Wales, and most of us fast between sunrise and sunset during Ramadan. That's not just no food, but no water as well. With just under a week to go before the Manchester Marathon, I've come to see my friend Saf, a local GP for some advice. As a Muslim, I'm aware of the importance of Ramadan and you know I follow it myself and in Ramadan as you would yeah, know the first exactly. couple of days uh, the body takes time to get used yeah. to um, fasting so for example myself for the first two or three days I have a headache yeah and I'm, I'm not doing a marathon I have a headache yeah. so as a doctor and a friend um, you know in all good faith I, I wouldn't advise you to be doing a marathon while fasting. Is there any signs where I, where I can look for where I think do you know what, it's actually becoming dangerous now. I might have to pull out. Feeling dehydrated, a headache is a sign of that. Feeling very thirsty, um, lightheaded, exhausted, fatigued. Yeah. Um, feeling as if you're going to pass out. So yeah. these are all the warning signs for you. And um, obviously my ultimate advice would be that if you start to become concerned and you are having any of these signs, you must stop. Yeah. While I realise I'm going against medical advice and that means serious risk, this is something I want to do. But to succeed requires training and discipline. For weeks now, I've had training days where I've fasted during daylight and practised my marathon running. It's uh, the hottest day of the year so far. I've been fasting all day, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm just going to go for a 20-ish miles. I'm going to see what I can do and just go with the flow. So, uh, I've just done 10 miles and it was hard. I'm struggling today. Finally, the month of Ramadan begins and the marathon is upon me. It's about half four in the morning. So I've got half an hour before my fast officially starts. And it's the morning of the Manchester Marathon. To say I'm nervous is probably an understatement. I couldn't sleep a wink last night. This, for me, is probably the most challenging. It's probably the most difficult thing I've ever done. 24,000 runners, 26 miles, and I might be the only person who won't be drinking a drop of water along the way. I believe I'll give it a good go. As my dad said, is you know, uh, it's the taking part that counts. So I'll, I'll give it a good bash. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think I'll be able to do it. I just need to get started, to be honest, to get these nerves out of the way. Five, four, Three, two, one. Early days, but so far, so good. The atmosphere is amazing and the crowd are keeping me going. But 21 miles in and having drunk no water for over 10 hours, the dehydration is taking its toll. The medical people had to pull me aside. That's because they're running diagonally and they said, all right, they checked my eyes and they, I told them I was fasting. Uh, they told me to pull out, but I told them I ain't gonna pull out. I've hit the 24 mile mark. And honestly, I do not know how I've done it. Um, I'm in a lot of pain. I'm just running on pain right now. My dizziness is really severe now. <laughs> Headaches. But I'm going to make it. I hope I make it. My lips are all chapped. And oh, 
It's torture. I would not recommend anyone doing this during Ramadan. Somehow I keep going. Mile 26 here. So I'm in the final stretch now. On this marathon, let's take everything out of me. After nearly six hours of constant running, I crossed the finish line at just after four o'clock in the afternoon. Well done, 2666 and Mal running really well. Whitney's walking for 26.2 miles. I've never felt pain like this before in my life. I managed to finish it and I managed to keep my fast. And I've managed to raise over 30,000 pounds for charity, which will go towards building a school for orphans in Nepal. But in some ways, the hardest bit is yet to come. I can't touch any food or drink until sunset, nearly four hours away. Finally, the time comes for iftar, where I can break my fast. But I'm feeling so weak and dehydrated that as my friends took in, I can only take small amounts. This really has been an extreme challenge, both mentally and physically. I had two passions in life, and that's my religion and running. I was able to combine both of them together today to accomplish something that I don't think has ever been done before, and you know, I feel humbled by it.